Now that we've covered filters and how to apply them, let's talk about using them. With filters, you can create just about anything. You'll find that you can create a complete abstraction out of an image, making it look like a painting, drawing, mosaic, etching, and so on. Although you can dramatically change the look of your photo, you can also use filters more subtly to change your image. You can use it to improve your composition or to add to the mood of your image. For instance, in this image, I used the trace contour to bring out some of the edges, then added grain in the filter gallery. After that, I reduced the opacity so it blended with the image. I also added a clouds via the render filter um, used an overlay blending mode and reduce the opacity. If I added these filters normal at 100%, the image would be totally abstract and mostly unrecognizable. I didn't want the filters to take over, so by applying these filters in a subtle way, they created more dimension and texture to the overall image and just enhanced the image. That cloud filter really kind of puts a nice texture over the image. We'll have to demo that later in the slideshow. Yeah, it's very cool. Multiple filters can be applied at the same time within the Filter Gallery dialog box. To do this, you'll want to use the bottom right corner of the Filter dialog box, use the New Effect Layer button icon to add additional filters. At first, they will be a duplicate of the existing filter, but once they are created, you'll be able to swap them out for a new filter. You can also use this portion of the dialog box to delete unwanted filters, to show and hide filters you were testing, and to add additional filters to your project. Adding a mask to a filter layer or a smart filter increases the complexity of the overall effect. It allows for variation in design more subtly in the change when applicable and allows for uh, personalization. The biggest mistake most novice Photoshop users make when applying filters is not personali personalizing the result. By not personalizing the filter, the result looks generic and stock. It doesn't come across like you're a designer who knows how to use Photoshop. Instead, it comes across like you're someone who opened Photoshop and hit the filter button. A layer mask on a filter layer is applied the same way it would be applied to any other layer. You can choose a layer menu and then choose layer mask, or you can use the add layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. You won't have to do this if you're using a smart filter though. A layer mask is automatically created every time you use a smart filter. And if you remember what we called things that are not smart filters, they uh, are there are reasons to use a smart filter. <laughs> Hopefully they were watching the previous video.